My name is Agnes Fries, and I am the creator of a tool called the Grid Designer. Grid Designer is a drawing tool for making uh, craft charts, colorful craft charts for things like crochet and knitting, cross stitch, latch hook rugs, things like that. And um, I want to let you know that it is absolutely and completely free. I have been a software developer for 30 years, and I am now retired, and this is my retirement project. And it is literally a gift to the uh, crafting community. Um, and I want you to know that there are no ads on here, and there is no login required. You simply open the editor and start editing, and you can save it right there in your browser and come back and get it the next time you, uh, you start up. So anyway, let's get started with this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a large printout on a large piece of paper of your project from Grid Designer. So I have here as, as, as an example my Shady Daisies Latch Hook Rug project. This uh, grid is 150 across by 100 tall. I'm going to get that printed out through Office Depot. Um, uh, this, I'm going to print this out and I'm going to do it on two different sheets of paper. I've actually already got a printout of this on a 24 by 36 inch piece of paper and today I'm going to go ahead and order another one on 18 by 24 because I want to show both of those to you so you can see how, um, how the picture looks once it's, once it's printed out on a large sheet of paper. So I'm going to go first and I'm going to download this picture to my computer because I'm going to have to take that picture and give it to Office Depot so they can make the printout of it. So we're going to go to Project, Download, okay, and here you can set up your settings for the picture, how you would like it to be. I've got um, these rule lines set up, the heavy lines on the grid for every five spaces on the grid and um, got numbering turned on. I've got um, the printing symbols over colors here turned on and I'm going to now say download. Okay, it takes it a second to generate the pictures that can be downloaded and then we want to click on graph image. Okay, and that will take you Okay, and then what happens here actually depends upon the settings in your browser. So if you're if you have a if you've not changed any settings in your browser, then the browser is most likely going to download this file with the with this name that's generated here automatically into your downloads folder. So and to find that downloads folder name, you would go to the settings for your particular browser and look in the download area and it should tell you where your download folder is. Now I have mine configured to say don't use the download folder, ask me, I tell the browser to ask me um, where to put the download every time I do a download. So that's why this pops up. Otherwise, this would not pop up. It would automatically just put the file in your downloads directory. So check out your browser settings. And it's different from browser to browser. You know, to get to them in Chrome, you go over here and you click on these three dots on the upper right. And you can navigate to um, settings and then the download area to see that. But it's different in different browsers and different if you're on a tablet or an iPhone or iPad or something like that, um, then you have to go through your settings for your device um, to get to that information. So it depends on your on where you're at, your device and your browser and all of that, how this is set up because this is controlled by the browser at this point. So mine is set up where I can put the file where I want it and I can change the name. So I'm going to just make a make my own name here, call it daisyrug.png, and then I'm going to say save. Okay, and I should have written it that then into that directory. Okay, and then when I'm done with this, I can close this. Okay, and now I'm going to go over to officedepot.com. Okay, so this is just officedepot.com. And to get to the service for printing, we want to go to services. So I just put my mouse over this. And then we go to print and copy, then document printing, 
and I'm going to do it under blueprints. So I'm clicking on blueprints. Okay. And now I want to click on the customize button over here. That's going to print it on a nice simple white piece of paper. Doesn't cost really very much, a uh, few dollars to do this. So I'm going to click on customize. I'm waiting for it to refresh. Okay. And I'll put my project name in here, Shady Daisies. Okay. And it's going to be just one page. I want to, let's go get our picture. So now I need to go, if I, if I had downloaded it to the downloads folder, I would have to navigate to that folder to go and find the file that I just downloaded, daisy underscore rug dot png, and I want to open that up. And there are no more files, so I'm going to say upload. And we're waiting. Okay. All right. Uh, it looks like it's got a little teeny tiny picture there. So we're going to click on, um, well, first let's find it. I've already printed a 24 by 36, and this time I want to do the 18 by 24. See how that comes out. So I'm going to pick that, and then I'm going to pick fit to paper. Okay. And that's going to make it expand so that it fits on the sheet of paper like that. Landscape is right for this particular picture, so that's what I want there. And that's really all I need. I'm gonna, it's going to cost me $4.99 plus delivery because I'm going to have it um, mailed to me. So I click Add to Cart. Okay, so now we've got one on Add to Cart. Okay, now at this point, it's just a matter of uh, proceeding to checkout, um, and we're, at which point I'll have to, you know, put, uh, um, you know, you like credit card or PayPal or something like that in, and then give him your address so that you can have it shipped to you. And I'm not going to show that here because that's going to have all my personal information on it. So I'm not going to not going to do that part. But basically, you just proceed to check out, and it's like ordering anything else off the web at that point. Um, okay. And now, so now, what I want to do is just show you what these look like uh, in the next part of this video. Okay. Here I have the two charts that I printed out through Office Depot. And um, the first one, the smaller one is 18 by 24. And the grid itself was 100 by 150. So this is 100 by 150 grid printed on 18 by 24 paper. And you know, it comes out, I think it's very readable. Let me just put my finger down here so you can see the size of the cells. Um, I think it's pretty, pretty good size. Um, and if you are uh, have difficulty looking at a chart though you might want to go with a larger one because the one underneath here is 24 by 36 and those cells come out very nice they're very large very easy to read um, you know you could fold this up and you know and uh, you know, look at it every few lines and uh, at a time that kind of thing um, uh, same chart just printed on a larger piece of paper